Today we'll briefly discuss first pass metabolism. When we discussed bioavailability, we were talking about why we were particularly interested in understanding how much drug reaches the systemic circulation from the site of administration. Now that's because the amount of drug that reaches the systemic circulation is proportional to the amount of drug that the target organ would experience and which is indirectly proportional to the effect that the drug will produce in the body. Now generally when you inject a drug into a place for example intramuscular intramuscularly it slowly seeps into the systemic circulation and then gets mixed with the systemic circulation. So from the site of administration the drug moves directly into the systemic circulation. But not all routes have so. For example when you give a drug through the enteral route that is through the gastrointestinal system the drug gets absorbed into the portal circulation. So the drug reaches the liver before it could go into the systemic circulation. Now we know that the liver is the prime site of metabolism of the drugs. It is possible that for some drugs as it crosses the liver a part of the drug a significant part of the drug could get metabolized even before the drug reaches the systemic circulation. If you think back bioavailability is the amount of drug that reaches the systemic circulation in the unchanged form. If a part of the drug is going to get metabolized by the liver before it can even enter into the systemic circulation the bioavailability would reduce. That's exactly what first pass metabolism is. Now the first pass metabolism could result in dosing differences. Let's consider this. Let's say if I give the dose IV, of course 100% of it would reach the systemic circulation. Let's assume that if I give the same dose orally, 50% gets metabolized by the liver even before the drug could reach the systemic circulation. So only 50% reaches the systemic circulation. So I would say the bioavailability of the oral route is 50%. So if I want the drug to be active orally, the same way it would be active through the intravenous route, I'll have to double the dose when I give orally. And also most important to note that this percent that is getting metabolized by the liver is going to be changing based on the liver function. So any changes in the liver function, either acute or chronic, could affect the amount of uh, metabolism that can happen in the liver. And of course, there are going to be competition by other drugs, which could result in drug interactions. The rectal route is particularly interesting because we know that the upper part of the rectum drains into the portal circulation whereas the lower part of the rectum drains into the systemic circulation. So that could change the amount of drug that gets metabolized during the first pass. The sublingual route drains directly into the systemic circulation. So that's a clever way of making the drug bypass the first pass metabolism especially in certain acute conditions like when someone is having angina and you want to give them nitrates.